Neil, are we underestimating the impact that a 35% increase in ESKIM tariffs will have if that is to take place over the next three years on businesses? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, you can see uh, in the newspapers, in the news everywhere, uh, there's quite a bit of panic as to uh, the inflation effects it's going to cause uh, for consumers, for companies, for miners, etc., etc. So uh, I think it's actually quite disastrous if they, if they go ahead with this. Yeah. In terms of share prices, uh, as we're hearing it, it's going to impact the bottom, bottom line of a number of companies. Exactly, imagine yeah. the, the miners out there. Yeah, no, it's, it's a disaster. I mean, just that small company, four million rand a month. Uh, imagine the, some of the much bigger corporations, what they're going to be charged. It's, it's, uh, it's quite frightening, actually, what it can cause. Mr. Price came out with a third quarter update in terms of third quarter sales rising by 8.4%. Uh, your view on the clothing retailer a number of analysts out there are, are disappointed on the, on the numbers out of Mr. Price. Uh, yes, I was also quite disappointed. Um, you know, you, you want the whole uh, uh, consumer spending story to come back. Uh, it, it is struggling at the moment. Um, uh, but it, you, when, you, when you stand back and look at it, it's not out of line with, with what's happened in the States. You saw retail sales come out there today, worse than expected for December. So it looks like it is still going to be a sluggish uh, uh, better head for, for most of these retailers still. Yeah. So, uh, um, and ShopRite as well. They came and disappointed the market mass mod. So that, that's a general theme at this point in time. Coming back to Mr. Price, do you think they could be losing market share to the likes of a Woolworths? If you, if you take the fact that uh, Woolworths appears to be catering for the consumer that is buying down as well, uh, would you not prefer to, to walk into a Woolworths? And, and some of those lower end products are pretty much priced at the same rate. This is on the clothing front at the, the same price as, as those in Mr. Price. Yeah, I think so. I, I, I'd prefer Woolworths as well. And uh, I think... Uh, if we are going to see a big uh, turn in in retail somewhere along the line, um, people run, just looking at the share price, I think Woolworths will outperform them there as well, um, more cyclical. So when we see retail's figures uh, starting to get much better, I think uh, Woolworths will definitely benefit from, benefit from that as well, um, along with the fact that they have been you know, lower end consumers. Do you think that retailers well. could pull back in the, in the short term as earnings don't actually substantiate, the, substantiate those valuations? I think there's always a risk of that, yes. Um, I wouldn't be surprised to see that happen, not, not to as big an extent as we saw um, middle of last year, beginning of last year, but uh, there's a, uh, definitely a chance of that happening, yes. Would you potentially, if there is a pullback, buy into some of the retailers in anticipation of this cyclical change? Yes, I think so. I, I would be, be buying some of the, the, the low-end retailers like uh, ShopRite, um, Mr. Price. Um, Long-term point of view, I think they'll, they'll do very well, um, but not right now. I think there is still some downside in them. The trend at the moment, uh, according to, to Pete Folio, and we're looking at, at what they're doing at regarding capital management, is that they are using the market at the moment as a selling opportunity and building up their, their cash reserves in order to deploy them perhaps at, at a later stage. Given the fact that we saw the market running 29% over the 2009 period and it's only 16% off its all-time highs, would you be employing a similar strategy? I think from a long-term point of view, to a certain extent, yes. Uh, would be, I wouldn't be flying into the market now. I'd wait for better opportunities to buy. But I'd also be buying quality stocks. You know, I, I think you, uh, there's still a lot of uncertainty out there. I mean, what happened last year was, was, was quite dramatic, and, and a lot of people did get hurt. So um, from investing, yes, I'd wait, wait a bit. Um, if you want to put some money uh, onto the table now, um, you know, maybe not a bad idea to, to stick to um, the lower risky stocks, things like Tiger Brands, Aspen, um, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but from a trading point of view, if, you, if you're looking for some risk appetite, um, you know, there, there's, there's always opportunities in the market. So uh, uh, not too scared to be trading right now at all, yeah.